Hello and welcome to this video. This is a new Blitz game. Let's see, do we get a Dirty Harry? No. <laughs> I really would like to get it on the board. I wonder if I already beat this guy maybe with it once, yeah? <laughs> so, there they. Oops, sorry, E5. You get those um, Rosolimo and other lines quite often, but I think I have a, a real count of people on Lee Chess that I already beat with the Dirty Harry, and then uh, they don't repeat it and rather play um, something else. Okay, so I'm happy with this. This looks like a really nice... Rue Lopez type of position, but with g6 played. Um, nah, okay, really nice. It's it's very okay. I'm not better or anything. Okay, opens up the a file. That's a normally quite usual thing to do. Or quite normally quite usual no that is really bad language um, it's a um, useful thing to do not a usual thing to do it's also usual but it's mostly useful okay anyway I'm going for f5 simply because I can I'm not sure if it's good though it could be a risky decision yeah no risk, no fun, right? Bishop c2, yeah? And then... Mm, yeah, I don't know. Th this I don't really think is uh, too dangerous. Get the knight over to the king's side. And... Um, I'm ready to play d5. Yeah? That is a that is a big pawn center, right? <laughs> that would be nice. I'm not sure if it's uh, maybe a bit too exposed. Sometimes it's better to not advance uh, all of your pawns because you have to defend this huge center. But we'll see what happens. Bishop d5 is a bit surprising. I don't mind to play bishop b7. Ah, interesting. Is that good though? Hmm, okay. There are c4 uh, tricks. c4 pawn takes. Hmm, interesting. Hmm, it's nothing special though. I want to compete, compete, fight, contest <laughs> the d5 square, maybe with the capture and then queen on the seventh. Hmm. I have again the c4 move, but hmm. this is playable. Like just do this. At the end, I get b2. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Let's play it. Queen takes b5. Is that a move? I, I totally overlooked it. Mm, okay. I'm not even sure that this is any good, honestly. But, mm. Yeah, I got. I have e4. The knight doesn't have good squares. Queen, queen b7. He can trade. 
Hmm. Yeah, I can go e4. I mean that that must that must be always enough, really. I'm very active. Knight coming to e5 and stuff like that. Okay, um how do I play rook f6 now? As rook d7. Didn't really calculate this. I thought I, w I must be always fine here with all the activity. Like queen takes, rook takes, knight moves. I have knight e5, knight d3, things like that. Does he really have an alternative to the queen trade? I mean, knight, knight, knight h2, uh, it doesn't look right. Knight h, no. Hmm. Okay, so simply trading is good. I can take on d2 also and then bishop c3. That would be, of course, equal. I think this is not enough. It's probably better than equal actually, but I think this is not enough. Um, I should go for more here. Knight d3 is pretty annoying. Knight c4. He has a pretty awkward piece on h2 really. Um, knight d3. What is he doing there? Going for something on the seventh. Okay, bishop c3 I can play or f4, right? Go f4. Yeah, I can take, take on f2. Oh, e3 really? Okay, he has checks, but e3 is close to a mate. I mean, back rank mates or promotion. It looks very dangerous for white. E2. Does he checkmate me? Don't see it. So I can promote immediately or play rook d2 for rook d1. Do this. King h2. Uh, that is a bit of a problem. Rook d1, then rook on the seventh. Uh, that could work, actually. That could work for him. Ah, that's awful. Hmm. King h2 has to play that, I think. No, okay. Uh, he goes for this check. It's just a check, right? Ah, I could have taken the rook. I'm such a clown. Ah, should take the rook, of course. Ah. Now it's this is uh, still work to do, but at least I'm on 10 seconds, so I'm not going to um, just lose on time. Check and made. Almost. Ah, sorry, not a mate, but this is going to be a mate. Oh, he has to give up everything to prevent it. Okay. Um,
That was a bit nervy at the end. Is that the right word? Um, yeah, unnerving. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm okay. Yeah, if I get in F5, that should be okay. And then there was there was some interesting spots here. Okay, I completely did not see knight g5. Yeah, which um, is a very typical motif. I don't understand yet why this works. Knight g4. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is not exactly trivial. Okay, that means my plan was a bit flawed <laughs> with f5. Um, this is not critical then. Knight g5, this work again. I had a complete blind spot for that. I mean, I'm aware of the idea, but I, I never figured that it could work here. Okay, this. That was normal and c4 is, I don't know, debatable. Maybe if this is a good idea, I don't think it can be all that bad. Rook a6 and now, of course, rook f6 given by the comp. I felt this is interesting. Just play actively. This and this. Mm. That, that can never be bad really for, for black. And I think I'm rather um, better after knight h2 the engine wants to play bishop c1 this is um the kind of move that is really difficult to see for a human player those intermediate moves or zwischenzug yeah this is clearly failing and with bishop c1 you get this tempo to allow knight d4 and uh, this is really complicated I'm not surprised that the engine is evaluating this as exactly zero because you can imagine that I'm active enough to compensate for a pawn. Yeah, okay, he went here and now this is already, I think, looking pretty attractive for black. I can already play, I actually cannot play that, I just see it. I mentioned this idea, but this is bad anyway because he has a check here, yeah. So this is better, nevertheless, 95 is good. Rook a1, 93, it looks dangerous. And probably now has to be very precisely handled by white. Take, here I thought rook takes looks very natural to make e3 more difficult. And now I went e3, but there is a draw, right? Rook d7. He took first. Okay, so rook d7. It seems that if I go back, then what is the thing? I, then he takes and plays rook e7. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. I have exactly enough for a draw, it seems. I wonder when exactly it becomes uh, losing. Maybe here, right? No, it's still a draw. Rook d7, king h8. Oh, he's got knight f6. Wow. That would have shocked me, I'm pretty sure. Knight f6, wow, going for the Arabian mate, I cannot take it. And whew, I probably have to do exactly what the engine wants to do. Promote here, and now I have to play with check. This is a, this is a really cool sequence. And check, and at the end I take this for a draw, okay. He cannot escape, yeah, if he goes here, then I can finally take because rook e8 check, I have rook g8. Phew. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I would have found it um, with 10 seconds because simply 
nothing else. I have to check here, and there's only the check with, with E1. Okay, he went there, rook d2, knight e5, rook d1, king h2, and now I should take it. Ah, okay. Yeah, of course, I can I can just take. That is that is stupid, right? I can simply take everything. Yeah, yeah, okay. That was not not good, yeah. Yeah, and now we can take here and uh, it seems hold a draw here, yeah, as the engine confirms. He's probably fast enough to get the pawn, yeah. And after knight f8, that's, a, that's totally silly. I can simply take the rook. I didn't see it with a couple of seconds on the clock. I took here and uh, now he can again, he can draw with the, with the trade. Yeah, okay, a bit some hectic decisions, but an interesting game. Thanks a lot for watching.